here we are for another B-Day Challenge video. Hi, I'm Brian, aka Dad, Poppy, Weirdo, whatever you want to call me. Um, here I am, let's do this. What if we started this 16 years ago? Let's look at some numbers. PortfolioVisualizer.com We're going to backtest this portfolio, looking at a couple of different possibilities of what, what ifs. What if? So here we are. What if you were born in 2006? What if grandma and grandpa gave you a hundred dollar check just for being born? Happy birthday you little baby. Mom and dad said we'll take that hundred dollar check and we'll stick it in the piggy bank on your dresser or we'll open a brand new savings account for you and you'll have it later. Or what if they said hey let's buy some companies for the baby. How about we had triplets? You are one of three kids. One of you put 100% of that money into Apple. One of you put 100% into Microsoft. One of you put 100% into Spy. I'm not necessarily telling you to do 100% of anything in your accounts. I'm just using this as an example because this is the easiest way just right now. It's just nice and simple. Let's click on Analyze. There we have it. One of you have 100% Apple, 100% Microsoft, 100% Spy. What have they done over the last 16 years? Well, let's see. The one that had Apple with his $100 or her $100 birthday check is now worth almost $8,000. Let's look down here on the on the chart. Kind of explains what how we got there you're born in 2006 if you look at that it goes up and down up and down um, sometimes there's bad years like right in here there's a big old dip bad years we have some dips we have a dip I think that was co yeah that was a COVID dip back there and then it goes up from there uh, let's see we are looking at oh, logarithmic let's change that I like that view better it looks better at least up here uh, we're gonna adjust for inflation just to show you what it does we're sitting at seventy nine hundred dollars on Apple right now adjust for inflation and that's only worth fifty six hundred dollars so a little difference there inflation is a different topic for a different day so just looking at this tool I'm showing you about the tool the details are specific to you. You put in your own numbers, you put in your own companies or your index. This is just an example. We can also see our annual returns like this. You can look at on the on the chart how it's doing or we can do on the bar chart. You can see where you had good years, you had bad years. 2008 everything lost money. It was a bad it was a well not everything but yeah it was a bad year for the whole market. Um, then 2000 yeah we had, had some bad years uh, 2018 had a downside and this year so far everything's looking down but overall we've had some decent years along the way like I said it's, your numbers will be specific for you I'm showing you how to use this tool yeah we can look at year to date what what's been going on last three months last year one year three year five year ten year or all time since you were born since 2006 so far if you put that hundred dollars that hundred dollar birthday gift you've averaged 31 percent a year since then in Microsoft you would have averaged 19 percent per year in the S&P 500 you still would have averaged 10 percent that's pretty darn good we can make some changes real quick what if you got a hundred dollar deposit from grandma and grandpa when you're on your first birthday and on your second birthday and third and fourth every year what if you deposit that every year let's do that that's a hundred dollars annually we're not gonna do any rebalancing none of that other stuff still gonna keep the same single stock or single index in those portfolios analyze and see what happens <laughs> here we are sitting at $38,000 in Apple let's see are we inflation adjusted we're not so and we're gonna get rid of that logarithmic I like it better this way um, so 
16 year old has been putting a hundred dollars birthday gift in her account for 16 years the account though is up to thirty eight thousand dollars at 16 years old we can stretch that imagine do your own numbers but I'm my challenge is to get you involved as a kid who is is has the choice to deposit her birthday his or her birthday money when you're 10 or 12 years old whatever you you know you can think about this you can talk to mom and dad about doing it and you, it can be done um i'm also talking to parents who or expecting parents i have one of the one of the guys from work has a uh, he's expecting he just told me the other day he's expecting a kid this year so he can start at zero he can start at zero just like this one putting a hundred dollars a year at 16 years old in these examples we've got a six thousand dollar account a, a almost eighteen thousand dollar account a thirty eight thousand dollar account that's pretty exciting for a 16 year old when it's it was just birthday baby birthday money every year being deposited um, that's cool and I mean some of you have less to work with than this for a birthday gift some of you have more than this to work with for a birthday gift biggest thing is you being consistent Cause we can knock that down let's knock it down to just twenty dollars what if you had just twenty dollars there in birthday money every year you tell grandma and grandpa your tell your neighbors let your mom and dad let let people know what you're what you're doing that you're learning about investing i think they'll be excited to help participate in your annual birthday gift so what did i do here i swap knocked this down to twenty dollars worth of birthday money every year being deposited you put a hundred got a hundred dollars when you're born twenty dollars each birthday you put it in and at 16 years old you're already up to fourteen thousand dollars if you were an apple it's a little different down here just in the index fund it's safer it's safer you didn't have the big you didn't have the big giant dips like you did back here with apple with microsoft those are a little bit scary you look at looked at look at this you can see how the individual companies are definitely more volatile more ups and downs than the overall market because right here on the orange line with the S&P we're following 500 companies so they have a lot shorter peaks and valleys a lot shorter ups and downs um, so those are safer with a lower return and these other single stocks are definitely more risky but the potential is there for some extreme returns go to this website just plug in some numbers on some companies that you are familiar with imagine what you can do uh, in the future I mean if you're starting now at 15 or 16 years old that's great you still have at 16 years old you still have 44 years until you turn 60 that's a lot of room for growth this chart is only 16 years with the birthday checks that's pretty good and even without the birthday checks what did we have without the birthday checks we were still eight thousand dollars in 16 years just imagine imagine that's what that's what this this one's about what if all right well that's it for this what if segment uh, come back next time for uh, b-day challenge videos and let's go through this let's let's do this together thank you for watching poppy's power-ups I hope you are getting excited about the possibilities of this b-day challenge there's other stuff we'll talk about later um, but right now we're doing birthday challenge and I'm excited I hope you are too thanks for watching come back for the next one poppy's power-ups